Exodus chapter 27, it is. And it's uh, continuing with the tabernacle and all the different furnishings and ins and outs. Here I think we're going to deal with the altar. Remember the altar for the burnt offering. It says, And thou shalt make an altar of shittim wood, five cubits long and five cubits broad. The altar shall be four square, and the height thereof shall be three cubits. And thou shalt make the horns of it upon the four corners thereof. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. People talking about taking hold of the horns of the altar. That's where this is coming from. It says, His horns shall be of the same, and thou shalt overlay it with brass, the brazen altar. That's another word for brass. I think brazen and brass are what it's talking about it says and thou shalt make his pans to receive his ashes remember it's for the burnt stuff so it's going to have ashes and his shovels basins flesh hooks and fire pans flesh hooks these animals they're sacrificing unto the lord but the levites get to eat the meat they got to have something to dig it out with out of the fire i guess it says all the vessels thereof shall be made of brass and thou shalt make for it a grate of network of brass Upon the net shalt thou make four brazen rings in the four corners thereof, and thou shalt put it underneath the compass of the altar beneath, that the net may be even to the midst of the altar. And thou shalt make staves for the altar, staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with brass. And the staves shall be put into the rings, and the staves shall be upon the two sides of the altar to bear it. Remember again, all this is going to be mobile. They're marching through the wilderness. Hollow with board shalt thou make it, as it was showed thee in the mount, so shall you make it. And thou shalt make the court of the tabernacle. Court, I looked this up, it's like a yard with the fence around it, or a, what else to say, a hamlet with walls around it. So this is just the, the surrounding area around the tabernacle, the court. It says, for the south side southward there shall be hanging, hangings for the court of fine twine linen of a hundred cubits long for one side, and the twenty pillars thereof and their twenty sockets shall be of brass. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets shall be of silver. And likewise for the north side in the length there shall be hangings of a hundred cubits long. And his twenty pillars and their twenty sockets of brass. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver. And for the breadth of the court on the west side shall be hangings of fifty cubits. For the pillars ten and for their sockets ten. And the breadth of the court on the east side shall eastward shall be 50 cubits. So going up and down, it's one way. Going the other way, it's half the distance. So like a big rectangle, I would imagine. It says, and on the other side shall be hangings 15 cubits. Their pillars three, their sockets three. And for the gate of the court shall be a hanging of 20 cubits of blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twine linen, wrought with needlework. And their pillars shall be four and their sockets for. Uh, something just kind of popped in my mind. I think about, you know, eventually they build a temple, you know, in David's day, Solomon actually builds it. They talk about the court outside the temple. I think that's probably the same thing that this is looking at. It's like for the, I think it makes it talk about the court of the Gentiles at some point. I don't know. We'll look that up sometime. Anyway, that just popped in my brain. It says, in the pillars round about, thou shalt be filled with silver. Their hooks shall be of silver and their sockets of brass. The length of the court shall be a hundred cubits and the breadth fifty everywhere. And the height five cubits of fine twine linen and their sockets of brass. All the vessels of the tabernacle and all the service thereof and all the pins thereof and all the pins of the court shall be of brass. And thou shalt command the children of Israel that they bring pure olive oil beaten for the light to cause the lamp to burn always. In the tabernacle of the congregation without the veil, which is before the testimony, Aaron and his son shall order it from evening to morning before the Lord. It shall be a statute forever unto their generations on the behalf of the children of Israel. And that's chapter 27. Show up tomorrow. We'll try the next one. God bless you.